How's it going folks, Video Stash here. We're gonna take a look today at a great way of improving your movement through your rotator cuff, movement through your shoulders. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a wall here to help give you some proprioception or some feeling of where you're at in space. Anytime we do overhead movements, many people will get to a certain point, they don't have the length in their lats or the stability through their shoulder. And what'll end up happening is their rib cage will come up, their back will extend and they'll do this to get everything up overhead. We're gonna use the wall today to help us to feel that rib cage staying down, those lower abs staying engaged and your body being nice and stable, which may limit how far you go. You may not be able to touch the wall and that's okay. But the goal, <coughs> excuse me, but the goal of this is to really find where you can control that full range top to bottom without dumping out of your rib cage, letting your abs turn off and contracting through your lower back. So uh, you've seen me do these things before, the I's, Y's and T's. I really like playing with those. Uh, we have three different hand positions we're gonna use. We have the thumbs up, we have palms up and palms down. The reason I use those is because each one of those hand positions changes what's going on within that rotator cuff within that shoulder. If I'm thumbs up, kind of it's more of like a neutral position. Palms up, because causing more external rotation. Palms down, a little more internal. So I'm gonna add a band on this for a little bit of extra challenge. Um, so find a band that's pretty light so you can get full range. The, the band should be the limiting factor. It should be your ability to keep this all locked in place. So again, if, it's, if you want a little bit less tension, use a skinnier band and probably use one foot. I'm gonna go with two feet because this band, I can, I can do that with this one. So I'm gonna start with a thumbs up. Step number one, I get myself right up against that wall. So I'm all the way feeling my head, middle of my back, my lower back and tailbone as close to the wall as I can get. I'm gonna let my rib cage come down, which will tuck the pelvis forward, getting a little bit of ab engagement there on the bottom part, lower abs. I'm gonna take those thumbs are up for the first round. Breath it, I'm gonna brace. And I'm gonna reach those things as far back as I can. I'm gonna control that thing back down. I'm gonna reach those thumbs up to the wall. This is the eye position. I don't want those elbows to break. I want everything to happen in from this shoulder joint. So I'm reaching those thumbs to the wall. This is where you're gonna to wanna to come up. When I get to the end, I'll show you from the side. When I get to the end of that position, you're almost there. There's what your body wants to do. Cause that's an easy way out. That's your shoulders saying, I don't wanna work anymore. So let's get into your lower backs. So we would, we don't want, we want to avoid that. So maybe you don't get to the wall. Maybe you only go to there. That's totally fine. So that'll be your I. Then your Y. Again, my thumbs are still up. I'm gonna open up a little bit wider. Get it wider. And then we're gonna do our T's, which is gonna be basically pulling this thing apart. Again, keeping the rib cage down, feeling the scapula slide together as we're opening that thing up there, controlling that thing there. Again, I really like using the wall because it just gives you the, you're able to feel when you're breaking so you find where your ranges are. So that'd be the thumbs up. Then let's go with the palms up, which I think is usually the harder one for most people. Again, going up overhead and then the Y, then the T is the pull apart. The last one is the palms facing down, all the same thing. So the I is right there. I can really feel my ribs coming up on that one. So I gotta pay attention to my ribs staying down, my lower abs engaging. Maybe I can only go to there on this one, that's fine. So I'm gonna make sure I feel my abs working this entire time as I'm performing each one of those. So again, use a wall, focus on your head, middle of your back and tailbone and lower back all up against that wall. And that'll really help you to find where your limiting factors are within your shoulder mobility. Try it out and enjoy.